Guys, I don't know why I'm doing this intro because he needs no intro. On today's vlog, we have a special guest who's leading the tech and venture capital sector like no one else. Guys, this guy is probably the biggest celebrity we have on the vlog in company history. You might recognize him from Ozbiz TV, Gavin Appel. Ignition Lane. You might also see here or, or subs be subscribed to his Saturday morning Ignition Lane weekly wrap. Or alternatively, you might hear his voice on Clubhouse every Tuesday morning at 8.30 a.m. I'm only in there for 15 minutes and then I have to get off to a leadership. That's what an honor. That's a big plug for, for kicking off this, uh, this Tuesday morning. Um, so honored to be here on this vlog. We're gonna try and do this monthly. And what I want to try and do with Gab is actually just condense all the activity and action that's going on in venture, in the ecosystem, in startups, um, yeah. and everything in between. And sort of condense it down to just give you like a two to three minute wrap on what's happening. So kicking off last month, the big get bigger. Yeah, there are major tailwinds happening in tech right now. So if we don't know, COVID in 2020 just pushed the accelerator on tech. Yep. Capital flowing in, uh, businesses IPOing. But what's been really interesting over the recent um, ASX announcements in terms of the, the quarterly reporting or half yearly reporting is that the bigger getting bigger, as you said, right? Mm -hmm. Atlassian have crossed over the 500 million US dollar yep. quarterly revenues. That <laughs> means they're on track to do $2 billion of ARR, which is bloody huge, USD right? USD as well. USD. So it's like closer to three, Yeah, Aussie. And, and then closer to home, you've got Amazon who have just doubled their revenue in 2020. They're now doing over $1 billion in it's revenue in Australia. Annually or annually. quarterly? Annually, yeah. annually, <laughs> annually. But you know, Amazon people kind of question, are they big, are they not big? You know, where are they playing in Australia? A billion dollars is a lot it, of revenue in these early days for them. It, it certainly is. And I used to be an Amazon subscriber in the United States. I lived there. Everything that I bought came off Amazon. I gotta be honest, I haven't used Amazon in Australia. So to hear that they still have a penetration of 1.2B yeah. in revenue. That's huge. It's a big number. It's huge. And what we're also seeing in the tech space over the past month, and so much is going on, so we can only really give you the golden nuggets, is that Canva have made a couple of acquisitions. I love so Canva. we're getting to a maturity of the Australian startup scene whereby the startups that are growing are now acquiring smaller startups to be able to accelerate their product roadmap. I, I think the world of Canva, I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm getting to get it, going to get to interview the CEO of Canva uh, as a Salesforce venture. Amazing. Um, but speaking about amazing people, people movers. Yeah. What's there's, happening? There's, there's, you know, not only is there capital flowing in, not only are there acquisitions, but people at the top are also moving on. You know, last month we saw Jeff Bezos, after founding Amazon, step aside for Andy Jazzy, who was head of AWS, to take the head of one of the most iconic businesses in the world. Yep. Another big shift here in Australia is that Andrew Bassett, the co-founder and CEO of Seek, has moved aside for Ian Narev, who was previously the CEO of Combank, who joined Seek about 18 to 24 months ago. He's now taking the CEO position. That now takes another one of our big giant, you know, big tech businesses in Australia, founder led being moved across to be a CEO in at the front. And you've got car sales, Seek and REA, the three big marketplaces now run by non-founder CEOs. Yeah, it's incredible. And um, there's some more rumors more recently, we might talk about it next month, around the Bassett boys. Yeah, I mean, even just half an hour ago, this is how hot tech is right now. <laughs> like you cannot keep across it. That's why you need to subscribe <laughs> to Ignition Lane's weekly wrap. We cut through it. You'll see it next week. But yeah, this morning, even 15 minutes ago, I was sitting on the couch over there waiting for, for this to take place. And, and an AFR article came out saying that Andrew Bassett is gonna lead Seek Investments. He's got over a billion dollars of cash to deploy. That's some serious capital stepping into the market. So you've got to look, not only are there the venture capital firms, you know, you've got Airtree, Blackbird, Squarepeg, you've got more micro funds, so sub 100 million, mm -hmm. Rampersan, our innovation fund, equity venture partners, right click capital, plenty more, right? But you're also starting to see these companies who are very entrepreneur led, like AB is one of the best CEOs in Australia, <laughs> right? So you've got the, them having serious war chests, but then you've also got the two founders of Atlassian. You know, you've got Mike Cannon-Brooks, you've got Scott Farquhar. These guys are probably on track to be one of the biggest 
venture investors yeah. in Australia as most, well, most definitely. and their family offices. I like uh, Cannonbrook's just made a purchase or bought some equity in the Utah Jazz. Yeah. Um, so he has he has my dream. He's playing out my dream, man, to yeah. own a basketball team. Big big NBA fan yeah. over here. Um, biggest raises of the month. There are, you know, as we said before, lots of capital. Like you yeah. can't keep on top of this shit, right? Like it's huge. So, so fast, which is an Australian founder living in the valley in the fintech space. So fintech is hot, hot, hot right yeah, now. He raised over a hundred million dollars. That was led by Stripe, another fintech business. So, you know, some people would say, why would Stripe be leading a raise of a hundred mil? you know, in a fintech, which could potentially be a competitor. Are they hedging their bets? Do they believe that it's it's a product feature they could bolt on to, to, to Stripe, et cetera? So it's really interesting to see the dynamics of who leads what, you know, who's investing as what, but but Stripe are leading venture investments, just like CCAR here locally in Australia. It's, it's, it's an incredible time. Talk to me as we sort of wrap up exits, and we look to exit. Yeah, so you know, all these investments are going in there. They want to get returns from their limited partners, the people who gave them money. Mm -hmm. We're starting to see our ecosystem maturing and some exits taking place. So we've, they're not significant. Like many are going IPO. We saw My Deal IPO, Adore Beauty IPO late last year. Uh, yeah, we saw Bike Exchange one. IPO. Um, last month, we know that Vinamofo, Airtask, a mad pause, there's plenty on the horizon, but there's been some exits as well. So we've got here Intuit acquired yep. Trade Gecko and OneSAS, um, which are two, two businesses to, to bolster their product. And also, you can't go through one of these vlogs without, without mentioning the SPACs. I was about to say SPACs. So I follow Chamath like intently. Yeah. I think that guy is God on you earth. Want, you want your body to look like his body that he posted. <laughs> Chamath is, a, is, is a, he's an unbelievable venture capitalist. Um, and he's, he's doing a lot in the SPAC space at the moment. Um, a dog vacay, uh, sorry, Rover who acquired dog vacay, which was in my former space, uh, are now looking to IPO virus SPAC. Yeah. Special purpose acquisition. Company, correct. And, and I think that we're going to see more of that. The ASX isn't currently structured in a way to be able to support that. Mm -hmm. But Patrick Grove, who's a successful entrepreneur up in up in Asia and across Australia, across the region, um, has has created the first SPAC where the target company will be an Australian technology business. So this is a watch and see space. We might talk more about it in the future, but it's certainly an area of the industry that we need to keep our finger on. In the, description, <laughs> in the description below, guys, I'm going to link the, um, the Clubhouse channel. I'm going to link the uh, weekly newsletter that comes out from Ignition Lane, all Gav's details. We're going to try to keep doing this every month, keep you informed and up to date. I definitely want to talk about SPACs. I really want to talk about SPACs because I really want to understand more about the why. Yeah. Is it a way to f sort of go to the market faster? Anyway. For another day. For another day. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers, man.